Um, our next lightning talk. C minus. Our next lightning talk is from Ella Santos. Ella has worn many hats in the 22 years of her career within the culture sector, both in Aotearoa and overseas as a senior leader, visitor services, duty manager, grant officer, university lecturer, and visitor host. Ella currently works in the New Plymouth District Council, leading the visitor experiences team at Puke Ariki an integrated knowledge hub comprising museum, library, research center, museum store, and eyesight, which, promises the, which promotes the heritage of Taranaki and connects local people and visitors to new ideas and other cultures from around the world. Please make Ella welcome to the stage. Thank you, Jim. Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā tātou katoa. He tēnā mihi ki ngā mana whenua, ki ngā NDF, ki ngā manu hiri hoki, no piripini o kutupuna, no reira he tangata tiriti a hau e tu a kenei. Ko ao te pukinga wakararao o puke ariki, no reira tēnā koutou, tēnā tātou katoa. It is a great privilege to speak with you this morning and share our a two and a half months journey into a space of 10 minutes, um, creating a virtual reality prototype. Um, in my role as lead of visitor experiences at Puke Ariki, one of the dynamic dimensions of my role is working with key partners and stakeholders in the community to bring our institutions closer to our visitors to the region and also to the community at large. One of the key groups that I interact with is our regional development agency, Te Puna Umanga Venture Taranaki. This prototyping project turned out to be the biggest projects our institution have seen. This was borne out by an email that they sent me early in February this year. They wrote, would love to meet to discuss the historic walk and possible digital additions to boost it. This is part of our visitors' futures product development. We may be able to help prototype it. With much curiosity and enthusiasm, this non-techie person started discussing with another non-techie person about techie stuff. Our brief was to develop an enhanced digital prototype, quite a mouthful, based on Pukeriki guided historical tour. This was one of the post-COVID regeneration initiatives to in stimulate innovation and new experiences in the tourism sector. The historical walk is led by our incredible Pukiariki guides, volunteers who are in their 75 plus age group. They lead visitors into a three kilometer walk around New Plymouth CBD, focusing on historical landmarks, people and stories, and what they might mean in our post-colonial society. Without hesitation, our wonderful volunteers came on board another enthusiastic and non-techie group keen to do techie stuff. After all, we share a common objective of evolving in the ways that we tell stories. This presented that opportunity. I would like to shout out to Nick Seta Ducato. Wave, I can see where you are. Um, he's Pokeriki's digital specialist, who is part of our project team. Finally, non-techie people have somebody techie who's emerged in the technology who could speak the language. And one of the earliest tasks that we had to navigate, it was breaking down the abstract concept of the digital world and pluck out potential applications to our historical walk from the world of ideas. We did our research, brainstormed, and look at examples of mixed reality, virtual tours, gizmos, gadgets galore and did our modeling of visitor experience scenarios. Virtual reality turned out to be the way to go following our scoping. But to ground our project, we identified what set of benefits we hope this project could bring. What are we really trying to achieve here? We reached our why, which became the pillars supporting our prototyping project. First, we care about making this accessible taking advantage of the portability of VR that would enable us to take this on-site and off-site. Second, we cannot control the weather. An indoor, weatherproof, all-season experience sounds really ideal. Third, we cared about interpreting, disseminating, and heritage 
disseminating heritage with a wow factor. Our fourth and final pillar that stems from our growing Te Tiriti and Te Ao Māori journey is an intention to present a balanced narrative to come from both Māori and European settler perspectives. It became apparent that um, we don't have mana whenua around the table. Time was too compressed, however, not to ask Ngāti Te Whiti Hapu for their involvement was not an option. In one of our engagements with our Kaumatua, one of them said something that stayed with us. He said, nothing about us without us. Nothing about us without us became our guide in the way we regard the Matauranga and the knowledge of the hapu and all of our content contributors. This also translated in the way we approached ownership, sharing authority, resources, dissemination of the prototype, as well as its future iterations. We were fortunate to have worked with an amazing Wellington-based creative agency called Wrestler, who shared our passion and they showed a lot of professionalism and aroha in every step of the process. Soon decisions on location, film shoot, recording, taonga puoro, creative and digital, digital input aligned. It was a process of weaving a beautiful work among all of us involved in the project, with us at Puki Ariki taking the role as advisors, facilitators, conduit for our collections, and the glue for everyone involved in the project. So I'd like to take you through an exciting part by giving you some clips of this virtual reality, virtual reality guided tour. So imagine yourself in a first person view with your headset on, on a swivel chair. Um, the, the hands here have been, we have virtual hands in this tour replaced by um, the controllers for ease of movement. And I'd like to take you through the first clip. In front of you, you have our ancestral majestic maunga, maunga taranaki. To your right, we have paritutu, the remnants of an old ancient mountain. And behind you, you have te tai orehua, our moana. To travel to the first location, hold one or both hands out at shoulder height and motion towards the marker. This is the orientation segment which allows users to interact and get used to the virtual space that they're in. VR did a great job of taking users into a view that's not often seen every day. This is our second clip. This is one of my favorites. The landscape that we see before us now doesn't look like it used to back in the old days. If I take you up to Pukaka Pass site, Pukaka Pass site uh, has 15 metres of soil that's missing from the top of that pass site, which was removed and taken elsewhere. Also, when you look across the river, we will see Pukea Ariki in terms of the, the big hill that was there, the Chief's Hill. That land that formed the hill has been pushed out to turn it into reclaimed land. That's how we arrived to our foreshore and the railway track. Also, where we're standing um, was another pass I called Te Kawo, and that was another hilly, the hilly terrain. So a lot of the hills that were here have now been turned into reclaimed land. We had such amazing feedback from our hapu from this clip. This location was very symbolic in a way that they would like to create a visual reference of the tupuna um, and the whakapapa of the hapu. Pukihariki is a very important site, which is also where our building stands. It denotes Pukihariki, or it means Hill of Chiefs. Um, I'd like to take you through a very last segment. Carrington and his party lugged their heavy theodolite and equipment to the top of Paritutu and they took a bearing to the base of Tarnakamaunga. 
from that baseline, which is 174 degrees east and 39 degrees south, they drew a line at a right angle. That will be Devon Street, proclaimed the surveyor. And so it is to this day. That was a perfect tool, time and place to tell that narrative and to tell that piece of history. And it's a beauty of the VR to be able to do that. So just for my final notes, I know I'm preaching to the, to the convert here, but I've, from this project, we really felt that our interactions with our community had played an important part. Um, and it is about knowing what each other is up to and allowing the edges of our worlds and our experience to touch, to allow beautiful experiences and aspirations to be realized. Thank you very much um, for listening.